Is it recording? Yes. Why'd you do that? The goal was that. <laughs> that was mad extra. Transition. What is going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be changing the brake pads and the rotors in the rear of my F30. In the rear of my F30? Is that yes. right? Yes. We are gonna be changing the rear brake pads and rotors in the F30. Um, my mom's telling me that when she brakes, it's grinding like crazy. And I came over and I looked to see the brakes and it's literally probably the worst I've ever seen like rotors get. It's so bad, look at this. It's so bad, like you can literally like I can scratch and I feel every line like, and it grinds extremely bad when I'm driving and pressing the brake. So definitely got to get this checked out instantly. Um, a lot of you ask me on Instagram or Snapchat whenever I make a video when I used to drive the F30 a lot, why is your brake light on? Why is your brake light on? It was because I never installed my rear brake pad wear sensor. Actually I did, but I got an aftermarket one. So this time I made sure to get an OEM one. So that should turn off the brake light in my dashboard. And then since I'm at the shop and Mike is here, I'm also gonna code off my airbag light. But let's get right into this install. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change the brake pads. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change the rotors and how to install the brake pad wear sensor. Uh, make sure when you guys are doing this to get a brake pad wear sensor, because if you don't, that brake light is just gonna stay on and it's just gonna be annoying to see. All right, so obviously. <laughs> so obviously before you jack up your car, you wanna put wheel chocks in front of your wheels or even in the back if you're lifting up the back. Unfortunately, we have an Audi Q7 on the lift today, so we can't put the car up on a lift, so we gotta do it the old fashioned way. Jack the car up. Um, make sure you also have jack stands if you guys are doing this in your driveways. You don't want to solely rely on a four jack to lift up a car. So Mike, can you, can you look at this and tell me if I'm good? Smiling about. Huh? That's good? Yeah, it's a 328. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's just a base model bumper. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to jack it up like crazy, but just enough to get the wheel up in the air so we can take the, the wheel off. All right, so after you get the car jacked up, uh, go ahead and grab a air gun or a drill. A drill, is that what it's called? Air gun. Power gun, get in. No, but this is an air gun. So not everybody has this at home. All right, whatever. So like, a, this is like, a, this is get something that's like strong enough to take this. Um, if these don't break loose, you're gonna have to lower the car again and get a breaker bar, but I'm pretty sure these should loosen. Um, remember, it's a 17 millimeter. Uh, you might wanna hold on to these because I think you might need them again. Oh, I hate doing this. All right. So, once you get the wheel off. Oh my God, look at this rotor, bro. This is crazy. Like, come close, you can hear, you can hear this. Look, listen, listen, shh. Your rotors are not supposed to do this. Oh my God, this is crazy. All right, this is my boy, Euro. This is the owner of Best Service Auto Body. What's up? He got a new car that I really need to show you guys in a, in a later vlog, and I'm not gonna talk about that right now, but he's also gonna assist me with this, because obviously I've never done this before. Okay, this is an eight millimeter. It looks like an Allen. Looks like it, but it's not here. I think it is. And you take this, and you put this on this, and then you take this and put it... Put it in this. Put it in this. All right, so basically what we're doing right now is we're loosening the caliper. This will allow us to take off the caliper and also the brake remove pad. the brake pads. So... Having a person who knows what they're doing helps to make a video to teach people who don't know what they're doing. Is this your first time taking it out? I did it once, but obviously I can't remember. Two years in YouTube and I don't know how to change brake pads. Sad. I can't see! Dude, get the bed. No, this is my bed. Yeah. Yo, um, do you have like a... What, extension? Uh, it needs to be shorter. It's hitting the control arm. Whatever this is. Hold on, get out. Oh, they told me to get out. All right, I'll just leave the shop then. Shit. Where are we? Oh, we're over here. All right, we're just gonna loosen this. You don't gotta take the whole thing out. Just no? You want me to stop? No, keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. So, next step. You gotta take this uh, pin out. Oh, I hear that's very annoying. Putting it back is annoying. Take it 
what he just did, do that. And the light. Oh, I see, okay. It's a little bit tight, so you gotta... That's what she said. Take it out. Um, you need a brake pad, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look at this. It's done. Look at it's this. Done. You're, you're this is beyond done. The metal. So, mom, this is why it was grinding. Yes. So this plus this rotor. That's why he messed up the rotor. So the pad this messed it why, up. This is why people need to change their brake pads because the minute you get here, you're damaging your rotors. And now, so boom, now you have rotors. to change the rotors with brake pads. But if you change your brake pads on time, your rotors can go for a long time. And just for reference, so you guys can see, this is how it should look. Yeah. This is how mine looks. <laughs> that is ridiculous. So after you've taken out the uh, brake pads and the caliber, to remove the entire thing, you have to take off these two, I don't know if you guys can see, these two 16 millimeter bolts, and then you can remove this, and then we can begin to take off the rotor. Get low, baby boy. You better get lower than that, big boy. Don't act like you never heard that before. All right. So now we're gonna be loosening those two 16 millimeter bolts I just told you guys about. Ugh, they're so tight, oh my God. No homo. All right, this is too long. Ooh, homo. All righty. So I'm so scared of the car falling on me. I hate this. I need a lift, like in my life. I hate this. I can't stand this. Hey, mom, you want to paint your calipers? Yeah? It's so ah! Now we have to unscrew this. Yes. To take off the rotor. Correct. So this is a Allen that's it, probably like an eight. It could be the same one from the back. Where did we put it? No, no. No, it's too big. Guys, it's too big. It's too big. Oh my god, perfect size. Ah, so you guys see this is rusty? So yeah. Since it's rusty, you gotta like smack it in there. Yeah. Oh. Alrighty, after you've taken this off, you can remove the rotor, which is not gonna be easy. Not at all. So we're gonna get like a nice, uh, nice hammer, nice rubber hammer. Smack, 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 and then boom, it's gonna come out. Check out this old rotor. Look at it. Take a good look at it. This is how it's somewhat supposed to look. See, it's bad. It, oh, yeah, the back is bad too. No, but I mean, looks wise. Yeah. yeah, you can feel the edges. That's when you know your brake where your rotors are worn. So you can feel like a lip on it. So that's when you know your rotors are done. So, so for those of you that aren't sure if you need new rotors yet, obviously if yours doesn't look this bad, you can look at your rotors and if they look like this, that's normal. But if you can feel, take your finger and if you can feel the lip, basically you can feel like this sticking out past this, that's when you know you need to get new rotors a long time ago, to be honest. But this is how the old rotor looks and this is how the new rotor looks. Check that out. All right, slowly put it. That's what she said. <laughs> Alrighty, and now the rotor is in, so we can grab this bolt that we took out, which is really ugly and rusty and gross, and we're gonna put this in the new rotor, and we're gonna tighten it back. So next step is to put this back, so we're gonna put this back, line it up the way it was, okay. wherever that goes. Put the two sixteens from the back. And where are the 216 millimeter? Right there, on the floor. Let's see if it puts it right now. Yo, how's my fade look? Does it look fire? Mm, it's beautiful. Thanks. No I, flaws. I faded it myself. Your haircut? Yeah. You did it yourself? I faded it myself. You faded it yourself? Yeah. With what? My blades. Oh, well, we are you blades wanna, right You want to fade? I don't know. I'm questioning it. If I trust you or not. Do you not see this fire fade, bro? Why do I feel like... So what are you, a mechanic, a YouTuber, a college Definitely kid, not a mechanic. And a barber. Definitely not a mechanic. Sure. So now we're pretty much tightening down the two 16 millimeter bolts. After we've done so, we can grab the caliper and put the new pads in. Easy as that may seem, there's actually another step between it. You have to take a caliper, like, 
I don't know what it's called, but it basically takes the pads and it pushes it all the way out, which allows you to put in the new pads. And it's kind of like resetting the caliper, kind of, if you will. Is it super red? No. Bro, it's burning like crazy. Would you get rust in your eye? Yeah, I got rust in my eye. Now I'm just like my A36. Old and rusty. 20 years old and rusty. All right, so after you've gotten the caliper back on, or the bracket of the caliper, uh, go ahead and tighten these two 16 millimeter bolts. Um, I'm gonna grab a socket wrench and do that now. I seriously recommend that you guys get goggles of some kind to protect your eyes because I am constantly getting dust in my eyes and it's annoying. Alrighty, those bolts are tight and they're not going anywhere. Oh man, it's spring now, so my allergies have been crazy. I don't know how I'm not having allergies right now, to be honest, I've been having allergies all week. But yeah, now my eyes are super watery. So make sure you guys wear some goggles when you're doing this because it's it's really annoying when the dust falls in your eyes. Grab the old pad, put it in the front so we don't damage the caliper. Okay. Put this here, and then you take that, and then you expand it. Right? And then you turn it to the right and make this go in. So then when you put your new pads, you can fit, make them fit. Because your old pads, Basically, they're worn out. They're so worn out, so down. this gets smaller. So your new pads are gonna be thicker, so you need more clearance, you need more space. Yeah, so you go all the way in. Yeah, you know, you, get, you go all the way in? Yeah. yeah? I got it. That's what she said. Oh yeah, this is the part I pretty much never really seem to understand why we have to do this. But when you get these pads, you have to put some type of weird glue on the back or something. And I'm gonna have Euro explain why we have to do that, because I honestly don't get why. And this video is really not so much to show you guys how to do this. I mean, yeah, that is the point, but it's also like to show that somebody as useless as me can still do this and save money, so. We're gonna put this, uh, I call it a glue. But what is it really? Noise-free disc brake squeal okay. silencer. Yeah, so pretty much what it does when you push the brake and you let it go, it brings the brake pad back with the caliper. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't do that, then it's gonna be stuck on the thing on the rotor and it's gonna make noise. Squeaky, yeah. So this just brings it back with the... Because it makes it stick to this. Yes. This one goes over here. I still put it. You don't have to put it on this one, but I still put it just in case. Yeah, that's an F80 and then so. I'm gonna be dailying this for a couple of days, by the way, so. That's why you're changing it. Like well, yeah, I'm not about to deal with this. Oh wait, you're missing the hole. Euro well, is maybe known for missing the hole. All right, so we're gonna do this one first because it's easier to put it in the hole. And basically these are on, push these out so you can get the space in between them to screw it in. Push these on, and make sure it's on there. Make sure that these get through this. And then push the bolts in and tighten them. All right, so now we're gonna be tightening down these two eight millimeter Allen keys. Um, I don't know if these are actually Allen keys, but there's the two 8mm we mentioned earlier. So now I'm going to tighten this down. We're pretty much done with the process. All that will be left is uh, installing the brake pad wear sensor. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Yo. Fucking hate. Alright, now we're going to put this on. Which I don't know how to do, but I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure this out together. Before Euro comes, we're gonna figure this out. We gotta figure this out before he comes and takes over. He takes over my vlog. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. He's coming, he's coming. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. Doesn't look so good to me, honestly. Shut up. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <sighs> Are you sure it goes like that? Oh, and that's what locks the pad in place from moving. And then you pull out the brake pad wear sensor, yep. which and then is you completely go gone for I don't know what reason. And then make sure you get this in OEM. Make sure yeah. OEM. Yeah. Do not don't, get aftermarket. This was cheap. aftermarket. And it never turned off my brake light, so please don't, don't make sure you get OEM. Go cheap. Now let me this. show you guys where you plug it in. So if you guys can see, this is the connector right here. Go ahead and plug this in. Wait for it to clip. 
Make sure it clicks. Yeah, you it. heard it click. And you put it back in the little housing that it belongs in. Just push it up, and then we'll put it. All it right. Clicks. Yep. And you guys, if you can see Same these plastic one. things, just open it. Push this into one of these, whichever one you feel like it should go into. Clip it back. I know you guys probably can't see that, but that's the brake pad wear sensor right there. Um, that's where it goes in. You just push it in, make sure it clips in and makes the clippy sound. Or sorry, clicks in and makes the clicky sound. Is my hair okay? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Thanks, babe. Seamless. I appreciate that. Make, Perfection. Make me in the center of the shot. No, stop. <laughs> so that pretty much does it for the install process on this side. Um, the other side is exactly the same. The only difference is, is that the brake pad wear sensor install is not gonna be done on that side. Um, you only really install it on this side. So the install process is exactly the same on that side. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'm just gonna put this wheel on and then we're done. Uh, all right. Oh well. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Don't let Euro see that. His precious light. All right, so the install is finally done. Uh, I know you guys are probably like, what the hell? You barely did it. You needed Euro's help the whole time. Well, oh well, you know, I knew some of it, you know, but now I really do know how to do it. And I will promise you off camera, do the side, the other side myself. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This video is mostly for the people who have F30s, but still appreciate my E36 and my E36 videos and will continue to watch. So, you know, here and there, I'll still drop a gem for you guys and, and make a e uh, F30 maintenance video or something like that, if I do feel like it. And if you guys are cool with it. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, peace out.